Hey everybody, this is Dusty. Uh, we're doing a small business spotlight on one of my favorite people to go out and see on a regular basis. This is uh, Stephen Parsons with Parsons Specific Chiropractic. And we're just gonna do a quick little spotlight. Um, the reason why I absolutely love Dr. Parsons and I love this place is because no lie, I was in a lot of pain before I even got here today, ironically. I think I had tweaked my, my lower back or my sacrum, as he had told me yesterday before coming in here, and I'm already feeling better. And that's a, that's a pretty common, it's a pretty common experience with me coming in here and then leaving with a noticeable difference in pain. I've been seeing Dr. Parsons for, it's got to be at least five or six years now. Easy five years. Easy five, an easy five years. But um, to do a little bit of background on this man and why I love and appreciate him as much as I do is because he is a huge proponent of giving back to the community. Um, before I got into real estate and before I did anything outside of No Longer Bound, um, Mr. Parsons was kind enough to come on property to No Longer Bound. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with No Longer Bound, it's a Christ-based long-term program for men struggling with addiction, but he would come and donate his time, his talents, his energy, and give back to the staff members, the interns um, that were working there at the time and help them out with their job. I mean, he would literally bring a table on property and adjust everybody um, on a regular basis. So can't say thank you enough for that. That's just one example of the many things that uh, Mr. Parsons and his his uh, practice have done over the years of, of really giving back. So he's uh, definitely a man uh, a man of God and uh, loves to give back to the community. And so from that point on, we're kind of gonna just jump into a couple of questions. Perfect. We're in a weird season of COVID nineteen, kind of running through a bunch of different. We're running into a lot of different obstacles, real estate included, but um, we're just gonna kinda run through some questions real quick and, and see how business has um, kinda gone for you guys during this whole season, so. Sure, be happy to. So Mr. Parsons, tell us a little bit about uh, COVID-19. How it has it affected your business positively, negatively, both? Both? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I think the first question is the most important because um, if we don't learn from this, yeah. Then we won't grow from here. Yeah. If we're not growing, then what's the point? So, I mean, the positive things with me is I I realized that I need to go back to some of my fundamentals in business and my some of my fundamentals in chiropractic. Yeah. Now, for example, when I first opened, uh, one of the definitions of doctor is teacher. Okay. So I used to open, when I first opened, I, every Monday night I would shut my office, I would spend it with new patients, and we would go out over where healing comes from. We would go over the aspects of health to stay healthy outside my office. And I stopped doing that. And if there's ever a time, now is the time that people are hungry to say, hey, how do I stay healthy during this stuff? Yeah. Um, and I think chiropractic and myself in general has done a lousy job of educating the people on what we truly do. Yeah. If. Um, the public really thinks that we're backache, neckache, shoulder ache doctors, which is absolutely not the reason why I got into chiropractic. You know, it's like the analogy of uh, the rat in the dirty dumpster. The rat is more likely going to hang out on the dirty dumpster than he is a clean one. Yeah. <laughs> right? And if the rat gets into the clean one, he's not going to stay there very long. Yeah. And the analogy is the dumpster is the body or the temple. Yeah. So how do we keep it clean? Yeah. And those are the things that we used to go over all the time on Monday nights, and we've stopped doing that. I mean, there's, there's five aspects of health. One is, one is rest. Yeah. So you, you speak to a uh, sleep specialist, he's gonna say that's the most important. If you're not sleeping, then you're not healing. Makes sense. Yeah. Second one is exercise. You, you talk to a, a trainer or a, a exercise physiologist, that's the most important thing. You've got to keep your body moving in order to be healthy. Yeah, We're not designed to sit and, uh, sit down all day and, and be on the computer. Yeah. Okay. Third one is positive mental attitude. You talk to a um, preacher. You talk to a psychologist or psychiatrist. That's the most important one to them yeah. because fear is a big thing. And if you let this fear of during this time take take control of us, well, you're not going to be healthy. Yeah. Um, and the one that's, for me, that's the most important 
is function. Yeah. The chiropractor, the job of the chiropractor is to make sure that the body's functioning correctly, the way God made it. And the nervous system controls every system of the human body. I want to make sure that people understand that the chiropractor's job is to make sure that the message from the brain is going to the body so that it can be healthy. Yeah. So, and that's again one of the, the, the things that I've stopped doing. Um, I know I probably I missed one of the aspects of health. Yeah, you know, it was four, four out of five. Yeah, four out of five is not bad. <laughs> uh, we've got the sleep, we've got the exercise, we've got the positive mental attitude, yeah, and we've function. got the nutrition. Nutrition, that's right. Yeah, you talk to a nutritionist. That's, I mean, my mom always told me, "You are what you eat." Yeah, it's true. Yeah. So uh, during this period of time, it's extremely important that we take care of this temple. I think I struggle the most with the positive mental attitude during oh. stuff like this. Oh, absolutely. We, well, we all do. And that's yeah. why we should have a support system. Yeah. That I, I call my friend or, or I go into the Word. Yeah. And uh, read and for encouragement. Yeah. That's what we're supposed to do as brothers and sisters in the Lord is encourage one another, lift each other up. I definitely remember you, um, I remember the classes up front when you first kind of got yes. started um, and before you would even do like x-rays or anything like that, you did a really good job of explaining to people why it was important, especially the, uh, uh, the I'm going to get, I'm going to butcher this, the, up, the upper portion of the neck or the, the atlas uh, right, or exactly that, right. yeah, that portion of it being adjusted. So yeah, I think that'd be cool. Maybe you guys could uh, do like a, a Zoom conference or uh, something like that. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, and that's one of the other negative things that, or uh, positive things that I'm noticing is that yeah. I have zero, very little presence on social media. Yeah. And and it's because I'm old school. Yeah. I've been doing this 24 years now. So I still write letters. Yeah. You know, I still actually pick up the phone and call people. Yeah. I'm like, Whoa. Well, I, this, yeah, I know. <laughs> so this is really teaching me that, hey, I, I need a better presence online so that I can communicate, <laughs> communicate my message to well, yep, and I'm I'm definitely learning some things about my business too. Um, that I might even be too new school and not enough traditional. And you're stuff. not checking someone like that. Yeah, maybe I maybe I, I've uh, tried to maybe put some stuff in there, like write some uh, some thank you letters to yeah. clients and stuff like that, and take some time. So, moving on. Um, the negative. Let's go to the negative. Oh, negative. Yeah, negative, obviously. Yeah. Ne negative is very easy <laughs> because, and the business is down, of course. The number of people coming in is down, yeah. and and I'm not serving like I used to serve, and that's yeah. a huge thing for me. Yeah. So, are you as of right now? Are you still um, are you still operational? Are you still seeing people? We are open. We're open Monday through Thursday, same hours as before. Okay. Uh, we're definitely slower. We have changed things in the office. We spaced things out to okay. make it safe. We're applying by all the CDC rules and okay. regulations. We're cleaning. We're doing all that stuff. So we don't have to worry about that. We're, okay. We've got that under control. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. You heard it. He's open. So if you guys are uh, struggling, you know where to go. So let's see. Um, adjusted hours, operational. So that's in there. We know uh, what's the. You have a website, correct? What's, yes. What's a What's a good website for people to um, to get a hold of me? Yeah, get a hold of you. Uh, several ways, but my website is parsonsspecificchiropractic.com. Okay. And this is the really cool thing on that link is that you, that there's a thing that you can put in any topic. And it brings up the research behind that topic in chiropractic. Okay. So let's say, for example, you're suffering from irritable bowel. You write in irritable bowel, and it'll bring up the research. So yeah. you know, people have this understanding that all oh, chiropractic is this and that. And says, well, no, it's actually very much research. So that's why we put that on the website. Yeah. Other ways to get hold of me is just call the office. Okay. Um, can I give you the number? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll make sure we throw it on there too. Seven seven zero eight eight six zero 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 seven. We'll put that below down in the uh, the, the uh, comment section as well. And my cell number is on there. Oh, wow. So if you have a personal question you want to ask me, and because I know, I understand that people are scared to come into the office yeah. during this time. Sure. But we can make appointments when there's nobody else in here. You guys are considered essential yes. right now. Absolutely. And I, I mean, I can even do um, house calls, but I mean, at this point, it's driveway calls. Yeah, sure. You know? <laughs> yeah. So we'll set up my table in the driveway and we'll take care of you. At least if, it's, if uh, it's a, at least it's spring. It's nice out. Uh, yeah. yeah. Get a tan and get your back adjusted at the same, at the same <laughs> time. <laughs> I mean, I'll be happy to do what I need to do. Um, last but definitely not least, and we can kind of meander a little bit after this too, but, um, what's the, what's the best support that the community could help you out with right now? Okay. Good question. Yeah. Uh, I think the biggest thing uh, for me is to let people know that I'm here. Okay. I got into chiropractic because I love people. I got into chiropractic because I want to serve. I got into chiropractic because I want to help the health of people. 
Yeah. So this not seeing many people is just it's just eating me. Yeah, it's difficult. So I'm, I'm willing to step out in the community and um, see as many people as I can. Just but they have to know I'm here. Yeah. So you guys hear that? This man is the real deal. And if you guys know me well enough, you know that I'm not uh, someone to uh, blow smoke or uh, be overly um, use flattery on a on a regular basis, but. If you're going to spend your time and your money on any chiropractic service that's local, and again, this is uh, right off exit 17, off 400, so it's in our local community in Forsyth County. If you're going to spend your time and energy um, and your, your dollars on a chiropractic service, this man is really good at being able to be involved in the community and give back and, uh, and sow back into the people around us too. So can't say how much I appreciate you. I mean over the years um countlessly helping me out my wife friends and family and uh i wouldn't come back if it wasn't a noticeable difference sure. out, out of the door so really appreciate you, uh, I appreciate you. Thanks so much. You're welcome. cool